This MMA 30 segment is powered by XCAP.TV. If you want to get the most from your training and your supplements like Randy the Natural Couture does, go to XCAP.TV. MMA 30 recently caught up with the top cut man in the business, Jacob Stitch Duran at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas. Coming into this game, is, it's kind of a long story of how I became a cut man and where I'm at now, but you know, I, started, I grew up as a farm worker. I was literally born and raised in a migrant camp, and though I grew up poor, I walked onto a college team and started playing a little bit of baseball, but couldn't afford to go to school. And uh, so I just kind of left and joined the Air Force. And, and the Air Force is what sent me to Thailand in 1974. And now here I am, a young kid from, you know, as a migrant worker, farm kid, you know, just from a little town of 1,500 people. Uh, didn't even know what Thailand was, number one. It was during the Vietnam War. And, and I get there, it's like four in the morning and, and uh, get off the plane. and. You know, these, these guys in Jeeps and, you know, they got the 60 caliber machine guns on, load locked on and there's towers and, you know, you see all these guys in camouflage and I'm thinking, you know, what am I doing here? Well, you know, uh, but I had some friends that were stationed there like three months before me and so they were already acclimated and they invited me downtown to see some fights and uh, not knowing what Muay Thai was, I get there and uh, just like the old Bruce Lee movies, you know, all these people are there and, and uh, I see my first fight and this guy throws a kick and he throws a roundhouse and knocks the guy out and people are throwing stuff in the ring, and I'm thinking, wow, what is this, you know? Uh, so it turns out the, the following Monday, they had uh, Taekwondo classes at the base for the GIs. Bottom line, for the whole year, I studied uh, uh, the Muay Thai system with a little bit of Taekwondo, so great kicks and all that, and uh, got back to the States, and uh, I got into boxing just to improve my hands, because my legs and elbows and knees were all good, and, and uh, then I started getting into training amateur boxers, and then I opened up my own school, uh, ASK, <clears throat> the American School of Kickboxing, and. I uh, went all over the world with fighters and that's how I learned to be a cut man and, and I really enjoyed it. And, uh, and I had a real nice job with R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company. I worked with them for 25 years and had a company car and uh, you know, a tie and coat and you know, just kind of like the American life and a secure job but I wanted to follow my dreams and uh, I put in for a request and I called the manager here in Las Vegas and he gave me two weeks and two weeks I closed my school, I sold my house and I moved my family. Then I took a $25,000 a year cut and paid to move to Vegas to follow my dreams. At that time it was only boxing and uh, so I, you know, I was working with boxers before and, and I started working with them and getting a little bit of work and where it kind of balanced out where on the money that I lost and then Dana White, uh, known him for many years because I used to sell him uh, M&M &M, uh, &M boxing equipment and I ran into him at a K1 event that I was working and uh, he asked if I'd be interested in working in the UFC with him and uh, he gave me a call the next day and uh, told me here's what he had and I've been with him ever since and uh, here I am talking to you now. MMA 30 can't beat it. This MMA 30 segment is powered by xcap.tv. If you want to get the most from your training and your supplements like Randy the Natural Couture does, go to xcap.tv. We're back at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas with UFC Cutman Stitch. The thing people ask me, you know, why do you like being a cut man? It's because it's individual. A fighter is an individual thing. I mean, even though you have trainers and you have conditioners and you have everybody, when you get in that ring, it's just you and him. Uh, but same thing with me. When I get in there and start working on, on a fighter's cut and, and determining whether he's going to be able to continue or not, uh, all that is my doing. And, and there's a lot of reward that comes with, with giving a fighter a victory or just even taking care of a fighter. The fight with, with Forrest when he fought Shogun to me was really one of my signature fights. And as a matter of fact, in the book that they have coming out, that I have coming out from migrant camp to Madison Square Garden, the Jacob Stinsteran story, it starts off with that fight with Forrest and Shogun because it was such an important fight, not only for me, but for Forrest. Forrest ended up being uh, the, the champion, you know, world champion. But that was a fight that really was instrumental to Forrest because he had a, a nasty cut. And if you see the video game, that cut is duplicated on the cover of, of the, of the uh, video game. But I used all the medications that I had. I mean, I pulled out all the stops and, you know, at the end of the fight, Randy Couture says, you know, what did you do? You did a great job. You know, a minute into it, it's not bleeding. Uh, two minutes into it, it's not bleeding. You know, three minutes into it, it's not bleeding. And we're talking and saying, man, you know, what a great job. And, uh, and, and when Forrest ends up tapping out Shogun, there's just that feeling of greatness. You know, it just, I did my job at the A level and, and it doesn't get any better than that. And people ask me, you know, what does it take to be a good cut man? Well, you know, number one, you have to have that confidence. You know, you, you can't show a fighter that you're working on that's going through a little bit of trauma that, that you're nervous. I get a lot of doctors that call me, a lot of EMT guys that, a lot of nurses that want to be cut men and because they're in that field of working with a little bit of trauma, but you can be the best doctor in the world, but you, doesn't guarantee you to be a good cut man. See, I pull my butt this way, and uh, thing, this thing goes back that way. Butt, thing, butt, 
thing, and now I'm gonna bring my butt back that way and bring the thing through. And uh, people ask me, you know, well, what kind of a degree do you have? You know, what, what's your master's degree and what's your PhD degree? I got a high school diploma, brother. You know, I grew up as a poor farm worker, you know, and I just couldn't continue to go to school, but it didn't make me dumb. I just want a burger. It motivates me to get me through the day. I'm not kidding you. This MMA 30 segment is powered by xcap.tv. If you want to get the most from your training and your supplements like Randy the Natural Couture does, go to xcap.tv.